Hi, my name is Romina. With this tutorial, I show you how to make tiled web page backgrounds without any visible tiling lines. The software I'm using for this tutorial is Adobe Photoshop CS3. Here you can see a simple web page with the name my-page.html and a background image which I named stone-background1.jpg. The image resembles the surface of a stone and was also created using Adobe Photoshop. This is the sample web page with a tiled background image and visible tiling lines. As you can see, those lines don't look so good there. We need to get rid of them. Let me show you how. The first thing we need to do is open up the image in Photoshop by selecting File Open from the menu bar. Now we'll apply a filter to shear our image by selecting Filter Distort shear from the menu bar. Move the top and bottom dots all the way to the right. For undefined areas, make sure you keep the option wrap around selected. The image will be cut into halves, which will switch positions. The one on the right will move to the left side and the one on the left will move to the right. This way, the images will line up perfectly. The tiling line has been moved to the middle and I'll show you later how to remove that line. Now we need to repeat this process with the top and bottom sides of the image. The shear filter only works from left to right, so we will have to rotate the image first. From the menu bar, click on Image, Rotate canvas 90 degrees CW, which means clockwise. Now we will apply the shear filter again. This time, we will not need to move the dots to the right. Photoshop will remember the settings we used for this filter the first time, so we'll just click on OK. Select the Clone Stamp tool and all click somewhere not so close to the crossing lines in the middle. The Clone Stamp tool paints one part of an image over another part of the same image. Positioning the pointer in any open image in all click in sets the sampling point or the origin of the tool. Now with the brush, we'll paint over the lines. The Clone Brush tool will then duplicate whatever is at the origin. The origin follows the movements of the brush. Let's say you paint from left to right. The origin will move from left to right too. As you can see, now the lines are gone. 
it's time to save our file by going to File, Save from the menu bar. Now let's open up our simple web page to see how it looks like with our new version of the background image. This is how your web page will look like with a seamless background image when it's titled. This technique can be used with a variety of textures like bricks, stones, fire, etc. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please rate it and leave a comment. Thanks and happy learning!